I know what you're thinking. This isn't your first video. It's not. I don't have another channel. I have two other channels. One, I don't know the password to. And the other one is a cringe fest of makeup videos. And me defending the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia. I don't know. And I have platinum blonde hair. Short platinum blonde hair. Which was not a good look. It was a shudder fest. So what this is, is I don't know. But I'm going to try and start anew. You know, have a professional separate makeup channel where I only keep up with makeup stuff because that's what I like. Yeah, so this is what it's gonna be uh, from now on. Um, I'm really fucking awkward in front of the camera. I like completely choke and freeze up. So I will probably have to rehearse what I'm gonna say first and then film it, which is what I did for the intro. So yeah. Let's just fucking, let's just fucking. Hi, back from a bit of a different camera angle. So what I'm going to try and do today is like a 60s inspired look. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands. I'm not fucking Italian. Um, I'm going to try a 60s inspired look with like that blue lavender color on the eyes. And maybe like, um, I like what they did with like, like a black gray color, like, like, like a line through your crease i'm gonna attempt that i'm not very good at it and then i'm gonna use mauve tones for blush and for my lips so is it gonna turn out great or is it gonna be a fail probably the latter so let me just start on my face also by the way before i start i like when if it's just a tutorial on your eyes i kind of like when I don't know, beauty YouTubers? Influencers? No, what Jenna Marbles calls them, B-YouTubers. I like when they will like do their whole face and say what they're using on top of it being an eye tutorial, but like I'm not gonna completely sit here and focus on my face. I'm gonna focus on like the 60s inspired look, but I still wanna show you what I'm using on my face because it, it changes like once a week because that's just who I am. So, um, let me just get started. <laughs> All right, so usually with skin prep, I go back and forth with doing a lot and a little, so I'm just gonna, I just got this in the mail, the ColourPop Radiate Vitamin C Serum. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this and then put my moisturizer on, which is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Day Beauty. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, am I beautiful yet? <laughs> So I also just put on some sunscreen. Don't, oh, it's right here. This is from uh, COSRX. I think it's a Korean brand. It's just the aloe soothing sun cream. I haven't had a problem with this, like breaking out or anything. And I guess it blocks my skin from the sun. I don't know. <laughs> so for my base, I, I have pretty dry skin, so usually I like being dewy or more of like a natural finish. So like at least still like when you turn, like you, there's still like some sort of shine. Lately, I've been using the Future Dew from Glossier. And that has been my primer, I guess. I don't really know if it's a primer. It's definitely oil. It's definitely like, it's very hydrating. Like we'll give it that. And then, um... I like using like a tint or like a BB cream or like a tinted moisturizer. Um, foundation has to be really good. What am I saying? If a foundation is full coverage, it has to be like good. Like it can't be matte. It can't be disgusting looking for me to like it. So I'm just going to go with something that I know I like. It's the MAC and Body. <laughs> MAC Face and Body Foundation. And concealers, look, this isn't a video about my skin type, so I don't know why I'm going into depth about it, but I guess I'll do another video about that. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Kosas concealer, a little bit of setting with milk powder, uh, the whole nine yards. And then, I don't know, am I going to record me doing my foundation? Is this stupid? Let me put on my base, my bronzer and my eyebrows 
and I'll be back. Maybe it is redundant to do your full face when you're just doing an eye, cheek, and lip tutorial. Because my base is going to be exactly the same. So, now that we figured this out together, <laughs> I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I know, big difference, right? So, stuff I told you is on my face. MAC face and body. Said it right this time. Kosas concealer. Milk powder. Um, I use two bronzers usually because I'm an idiot. No, I shouldn't call myself an idiot. I shouldn't self-deprecate. I'm amazing. Um, I use Fenty Beauty in the sun. This thing is very well loved, but I'm literally about to hit pan, which is amazing. It's just more cool to and I kind of contour with this. And then I'll go in with this e.l.f. bronzer. This one. And I bought these new Colourpop brushes. Like, I bought the brush roll because it was finally back in stock. I used this for my bronzer. Softest brush I've ever used. Everything blended. So nicely. For my eyebrows, I just put a brow uh, gel in. And then I call it a day. So I used the M Cosmetics one, which I love. I love this. So the star of today's show is obviously going to be the eyeballs. And today, I'm going to use this palette from... <laughs> My noodle arms can't open. I'm gonna use this palette from ColourPop. It, I'm gonna probably use the blue and the purple tone. This purple and this blue and kind of go back and forth with them. So it's the Morphe R37. I think I bought it in a set. I don't know. I'm gonna take Own Your Power, which is this uh, cool tone purple shade, and I'm gonna run that through my crease. These brushes are all super dirty, by the way, just in case you're wondering. My house phone is ringing. I don't ever answer the house phone. I'm just gonna keep building this shade up until I can like look ahead and like see it. It's more pigment in real life than it is on the camera. I'm also just really bad at blending my eyeshadow. So. Hmm. Oh, this color is so pretty. I like to blend my eyeshadow up pretty high because I am fortunate enough to have like a good amount of space between my eyebrow and my like lash line so I do take advantage of that well I try to the color is not just is not going on my eye right here like right there I don't know what's going on I'm being super hunchback right now I need to learn to sit up straight I'm also just going to take that color and just take a little, uh, this doesn't have a number on it. This definitely came in a set then. Uh, small little brush. I'm just going to take that same color and put it down here. I always just have to stare at myself for a second to make sure, like, Am I crazy? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take... Alright, see so now I'm torn because this sparkly blue shade looks a bit more appealing to me. Let me just swatch them. Definitely the darker shade. Okay. Oh I always keep like a wash rag. On my desk for when I do that because I'll sit here and swatch shades that I want to put on my lid because I'm never satisfied with anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna take, can't you tell I don't have glasses on? I'm gonna take Transcendance which is this, um, what do they call them? A sequin like formula from Colourpop in this book. I'm just gonna take that on my 
I always use my middle finger, is it weird? I'm not flipping you up. Maybe I am. I'm just gonna put that like all over my lid. Do I like this? <laughs> Can you tell I'm just winging it? And I don't really like it. But I have to match my other eye, so I'm gonna put this on my other eye. Also, I don't really wear fake nails, so I don't mind using my finger for stuff. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I, I do. I feel like you can get more, like, color pale. And, um, you can kind of, like, get more on your lid. I don't know. I don't mind using my fingers for makeup. But I understand, it feels really gross sometimes, because, like, especially with, like, foundation and stuff. Like, I usually use a sponge. Okay, so that is a little too dark for me. I'm not gonna lie. Well, not for me, but for what I was going for. So I am gonna go to this future self shade, this lighter blue, and then I'm gonna run that through my crease too. Cause I think this is the blue I was looking for. I just made a poopy decision. Cute. I'm just gonna take the same brush. Cause I don't really have a million brushes. I maybe have like, have like six face brushes and like 15 eyeshadow brushes and I don't use half of them. I'm also just gonna like smooth this out down here. And I always like kneading them out here, out in your outer corner. But like looking in the mirror that really like opens up my eyes. Cute. Cute, cute. I like it. Um, my inner corner, just keep within the same palette. Oh, disgusting. You can see my, <laughs> uh, desk. Hi. I'm gonna take this shade here called Clarity. I need to get contacts. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in my inner corner. It doesn't really like, oh, okay, that looks very pigmented on camera, but it's not. It's just like a light holographic shade, and it just does not show up when I use my finger, even though I just made a point about, oh, I love using my finger. So what I'm going to do is I use this because I watched, was it Sam Ravendahl? I think she said that when Pat McGrath, um, like, uses brushes for her, um, sparkly shades so i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna use one of these new color pop brushes this is e16 don't know if this can do anything but this is also what i've been doing too using that and then like blending it here and blending it up so i'm gonna do that let's see if it works out it's probably not going to because the shade i feel like just doesn't show up that well whether i use a brush or my fingers all right so we're done with this one found this uh the boob a new classic eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. Look how, like, amazing this looks. My spaghetti arms, okay. This is what it looks like. It's, like, it's so nice. These are, like, my favorite colors. So there's two blacks in here that I'm considering. One is Nar, that's this color. Nar. Why did I just say that, like, an Australian person? Noir. Noir. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to unhear that, ever whatever and this one is called downtown but this one has like gold sparkle in it so i don't know if i'm gonna use that one we're gonna attempt this we're gonna do it and what we're gonna do is like i feel like a lot of those 60s looks have that line like right there in their crease and i'm kind of going to attempt that there's a hair in my face see this is what i do this is why i have baby hairs because it's just i'm gonna just i pulled it out this is E20. Oh god, I'm so scared that I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the damn thing. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna take that noir shade. It sounds like I'm saying no in an Australian accent. Okay, I think I can deal with that, but just in my You probably aren't going to be able to see me do this.
<laughs> God, my eyes are so fucking saggy. That looks dumb. <laughs> I guess this doesn't have to be perfect because I feel like a lot of makeup from them. Okay, not saying that it was wasn't perfect, but God, this looks fucking awful. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that is what they did though. Do I have hooded eyes? They're like kind of hooded. What did I do? <laughs> well, you have to repeat on that one. Hi. I should have done my worst eye first because I hate doing this side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage this. Look, I'm not a professional, okay? I made two different eye shapes. <laughs> Alright, let me take this towel that I have and let me see if I can, like, kind of wipe that off. Okay. I think I fixed it a little bit. I just need to take that noir shade and go down here more. Is this cute? I don't know. This is like essentially what they did, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like try and clean up, I guess. I don't know if that looks good. I don't know. God. <laughs> okay. I. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, like this is definitely what they did, right? gonna put on my mascara i am using the milk cushy kush mascara i don't know why i said it like that with mascara i feel like it's starting to look better I'm kind of cracking up because I can't tell what this looks like. I need to stand for. Oh, this is why I have a humpback. I kind of like this. I'm starting to like it. I love how, like, I didn't look up any reference pictures. I'm just like, right? Yeah, right. We're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use my sponge. Okay, I think that's what I was going for. Okay, this is definitely cool toned, but it's like not very mauvey, like not as mauvey as I wanted it to be. So I think I have a blush that I'm just gonna ever so slightly put on the top of this. God, my under eyes look so yellow on screen. I'm gonna take this MAC blush in Cheeky Devil. It's their like bouncy blushes. And I think I'm just gonna ever so like take this over top and make it a bit more of like a mommy tone. That didn't help. You probably looking at me like, oh, that's a lot of fucking blush. But I put on this much blush all the time. One is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Hilbury, and the other one is Oh Snap from Colourpop. These are the colors at the bottom. They are a lot more different than I thought they were. So this one obviously looks more cool toned. This is Oh Snap from Colourpop. I usually tend to overdraw my lips, 
not like purposely, but I kind of just follow like the outside part of my lip line. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of fill it in. Holy shit, my lashes look really good. Usually, <laughs> every time I put on lip products, I always put on like three. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this Dior Lip Glow because it's pretty pink. Like it's definitely pink tone. And then I'm gonna put this Oh Hi Beauty in the shade Scorpio on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with this. Right? Did the little 60s thing. I don't know. So I'm going to just set my face. I do this. Don't know if it works. It's more of a placebo effect for me. It just makes me feel better about myself. Baby, what it do? How do I look? Does anyone remember the style channel and that show, How Do I Look, with the girl from the soap opera? I used to love that show. How do I look? Here it is. More... Stupid shit that comes soon. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. You know the whole drill. I almost dropped something. Would just really appreciate it if you could share, subscribe, like. Oh, I hate saying that. I know that's like a typical YouTuber thing. Ugh. Also, this shirt is from Urban Outfitters. Not like you care, but I don't know why I thought this was my most 60s thing. I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye.